All right. Thank you so much for that warm introduction. For today's agenda, Alice is going to go ahead and let you know what we're going to be doing. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Alice Cho. I am um, so glad that I'm here with you guys, and thank you so much for joining us. And as you see in here, we're gonna, we are going to introduce yourself again right after this slide, and then we are going to lead you to uh, create your Bimoji, and then Bimoji classroom or office or library, anything that you want to make for your students. And we will have a, <clears throat> we'll have a Q&A sessions at the end. And uh, slide deck, we are going to uh, share uh, some slide decks with you in the middle of our presentation. So uh, look out for that link. And that will have a lot of resources for you to build um, different uh, classrooms and libraries and offices. And then we will definitely share our contact and uh, contact information for you to reach out. Thank you. Next slide. Thank you. So Alice just went ahead and introduced herself. So my name is Annie Chen. If you didn't get to hear that earlier, I'm a magnet coordinator at Buchanan Street Elementary and um, Mayberry Street Elementary. So I think I have some of my people on here today. So thank you so much for joining us. So now it's your turn to let us know a little bit about your, yourself. If you guys can put in the chat your name and what school you're from. And on a scale from one through five, how familiar are you with Bitmoji classrooms? I know some, some of you guys have some, because I know I was not bit by the Bitmoji bug until when I started this year. So go ahead and put in the chat. And, and Ms. Alice, if you can let us know some of our responses. We have two and somewhat familiar. Okay. Um, two. <laughs> and um, hi, Annie, she said, uh, Margaret says, and it says three-ish. Three-ish, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and two or three, and some of uh, Veronica said uh, three to four. Okay. Maybe two or three. Okay. So we have like a mixed bag. And I'm going to be honest, I was a zero. I didn't even know what Google Slides were. So trust me, if I can get it done, you guys will too. Okay, let's get Moving on to our norms. So I believe uh, Ms. Sarah went over this today, this morning earlier. So um, yes, the Zoom norms, as you know, please make sure that you mute your microphone when you're not speaking. Uh, place any questions, every questions in the chat for us and use your reactions. And please do ask us questions if you need any uh, support. Um, and then please be flexible with our technology. We are at our school site, so we might um, disappear on you sometime here and there. I, my my Wi-Fi is being kind of lagging too. Thank you, next. All right, so this is my Bitmoji office. As you can see, I did a little bit of clip art and also like real life pictures, and I just try to make it my own. I try to imagine my what I would want my office to look like, and this is what I kind of came up with. And that we're gonna actually start doing this today. And if you end up visiting my office, if you click on certain links, for example, the magnet one, it'll take you to the magnet page. And I'm gonna show you how to do that, where we can link um, websites to specific pictures. And this is my office. Um, as you see, I am from local district central, obviously we are all. And then mm -hmm. you see the uh, little logo that I am from Eagle Rock and Highland Park Community of Schools. So when you click those, you will um, direct to the websites, the local district central website and our school, our community of schools website. And a little um, a poster and reading. And I added a little YouTube uh, for our students to uh, learn about what is reading, how to read. And just like Annie, um, I did support magnet schools. So I had a uh, choices brochures um, um, attached to the uh, application site and also a little um, sanitizer and <laughs> the uh, tissue boxes. I thought, hmm, let's put something on there since we're you know, in pandemic. So I added um, a, a how to wash our hands, how to sanitize yourself you know, for our students too. Um, I love Starbucks as you see here and then Annie does too. 
So thank <laughs> you. That's my office. Thank you. All right. So how do you get started creating your Bitmoji? So first you have to download the Bitmoji app, right? So hopefully if you guys are on your phone, this is what it looks like on your um, applications. And then once you get in it and you log in and um, create an account, you're gonna, they're gonna ask you, do you wanna take a selfie? And when you take a selfie, they'll, they're gonna um, kind of superimpose your image onto it and make it your make your Bitmoji for you. Or you can actually start recreating your Bitmoji yourself. And then you just wanna add some features like if you want blonde highlights in your hair, earrings, whatever it is that you want your image to be for Bitmoji. Right, you just want to make it about yourself. And we won't have a chance to look at the video, but in your in your resources later, you'll have this slide deck where you will get to play um, this video and it'll walk you step by step on how, how to create your Bitmoji. It's going to look like that. Um, and then when you're ready to create your virtual classroom, you just want to make sure um, when you do your uh, Google Slides that you have your Bitmoji downloaded for your Bitmoji extension. You just have to make sure your Google account is open during that time. And then it should show up as a little icon. And I'll show you in a second what that would look like. You just want to make sure your Google Slide is open and then you title your Google Slide. And then I have another little video to show you how to do that as well. So then once you have your um, okay. Bitmoji. So we want to make this um, this workshop interactive. So I'm going to give you guys some tasks. Me and Alice are going to have you guys create your own Bitmoji classroom today while you're with us. OK, so first, what you want to do is once your slide is open, you want to find a transparent background. You're going to go to insert um, and then select image and then go search from the web. So that's how you would get your virtual background. Next, you want to find like a larger item that you would want in your virtual office or, or classroom. So you might want to find a furniture or some um, school tools to use. And it's the same thing, insert, image, and web search. But when you do the web search, just make sure you type in transparent so it gets rid of the background for your pictures, okay? And later on, we're going to show you how to link um, your, your um, at link web addresses into, into your um, Google slide. So you're gonna copy the web address and link. You're gonna go to the item and you just wanna hold the item and then click Control K or depending on your device, Command K. And then you're gonna paste that link into the box and that will work. And then if you wanna do add a video, you go the same thing, go insert, click video, and then type in the name of the video. And then when it appears, you just click on it. And that's how you would link your video as well. When you have the little YouTube videos you want your kids to watch, especially for like PE or things like that. Okay, so this is what it would look like once you go into that page, insert video, you type in how to create Bitmoji, make sure you click that little um, search hourglass, or sorry, magnifying glass, and then click your Bitmoji classroom or creating a Bitmoji. And let me see the next slide is getting stuck. There we go. So let's review the easy peasy Bitmoji steps. First, we're gonna go ahead and create a background. Then we wanna think about large items. Think of furnitures you might wanna have in your office. And this is where the people that love shopping, this is where <laughs> you might go a little nuts like I did, right? And then number three would be adding some of your favorite things like your family pictures, your little pictures of your dog, which I'm gonna show you how I do with mine. And then just add those little finishing touches just like Alice did with her, you know, hand sanitizers, her little coffee cup. Okay. Are you guys ready to get started? Alice is going to go ahead and drop in that resource link that, that we created for you guys to make copies of so you can create your own Bitmoji. So this is where I'm going to actually stop my presentation and show you what that would look like. Can we just pause for a minute? Uh, yes. Some of the folks are having some uh, challenges sure. with opening the Google Doc because I think sure. everybody's trying to open it up at the same time. Okay. Um, so, so it is a it is a copy link. So just go ahead and um, bookmark it for yourself, and it's gonna and then you can make a copy of your own later on. So make sure you copy uh, and copy the link 
and then click on that little star that would that's how you would bookmark it yeah just bookmark it that way you can open it later on and if you can give us a thumbs up once you have done that or you got um have it yeah bookmarked okay. awesome just thank you so much. yeah just give us a thumbs up when you have it yeah because we definitely, you definitely want this if you, <laughs> it's going to really help with your building your Bitmoji. Do I see any more thumbs up? Yeah, if you can see the, um, the you, if you can open up the Google site at this point, that's fine. You could just watch us making one. Um, Mm -hmm. Penny and I will make one together collaboratively at this point. So you can just watch us and then um, definitely bookmark it. And also you can uh, contact us if you don't have the um, link later on, just in case, just go ahead and email us and we'll definitely share the uh, we'll link with you. Perfect. Thank you. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Does anybody remember what I did first? I, I, we were talking about that, the first step. Anybody want to come come off mute and let me know what what's the first step I, I need to do to create my thank you exactly go to insert see where it says image we're going to go search the web okay click on that. And I kind of cheated a little bit <laughs> I already looked for empty room and then put transparent background, so these are the images that would pop up. And all I have to do is click on the image and on the bottom it's going to tell me select insert so i'm going to click on that right and so i just want to make sure i have this background and then i open up a little bit bigger and slide it across and now look at that i already have my virtual background done okay so i actually started this one because purple is my favorite so i'm going to use this one instead and what's the next item i'm supposed to put in after my background. Does anybody want to come off mute and let me know? Large items. Thank you. Exactly. Large items. So um, I'm thinking I want a desk. Okay. So let's see. Insert image, search on the web. And I'm going to go to, oops, I'm going to click on this and go to a desk. see what would show up and sometimes I can't get the items I really like on here so all you have to do is go to search image on the web like this and you just put transparent desk and so you have all these options you just want to click on images and I think I kind of like this one this is where I told you guys <laughs> if you guys love shopping this is this would be really fun all right, so I'm going to go back to my slide and all I have to do is paste it in and that's how easy it is. Okay, and then we're just going to make it so it kind of matches the size of our of our room. Okay, so I have my desk ready to go. Right, and maybe I want to choose a whiteboard right as teachers. We definitely want to have some whiteboards that we can post some things in the background. So if you if you already have your um, links, it should you should see all these resources right afterwards. So that's what we were able to provide for you to make it easier for you for you to create your first Bitmoji classroom. So I'm going to click on this one. I'm just going to copy it. Go back to my page or my slide and paste it in. OK, are we good so far? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's say I want to be able to promote my school and I have an image that I want to use like our school logo. So I'm going to go to image instead of going to search web, I'm going to go and upload from my computer. So let's see if I have it on my computer desktop. I think I have my school logo. Perfect. Right there. Okay. Just want to make it a little smaller. And if I want to make kind of pop a little bit more, maybe I'll put some borders on it. And I'll just click on this little pencil right here. This says border. 
And I'm going to make it maybe blue because that's our school color for Buchanan. So um, Annie, I know Buchanan is a part of Eagle Rock and Highland Park Community of Schools. So I'm going to yes. go ahead and add our uh, Community of Schools website too. Okay. So, yeah, okay. I'll do Perfect. that. Yeah, well, you added a community of schools right there. I, I want to do our web address for our Buchanan logo. So do you have one for us? And this is how cool it is. Remember, we actually used one from before. Yay, thank you, Alice. See, it's also collaborative. So not only can you work on it, if you have a partner that you guys want to share this slide deck with, you can definitely do that. Oops, I'm going to go back. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to find and open up my school website. Wow. Okay, all I have to do is see this URL. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy it. Click on that, copy it. Go back to my slide deck. Click on my Buchanan and remember the control, right? We said either control, depending on your device, either control or command. So command K, see how it pops up down here. It says link. All you have to do is paste that link in there and you apply it. So that means when you're in presentation mode and the kids can like kind of explore your room, they click on this and it'll take you to your school website. Okay. And since I love my dog and let's say I have a picture of my dog, but it has like a background picture. So let me show you what I need. There's also other ways to do it. And we're gonna give you all these resources. So this isn't a picture of my dog. I don't know if you guys can see. <laughs> I don't know what other dogs sit like that, but my dog does that. So we're also going to give you this um, this link. It's called Remove BG, Remove Background. Okay. All you have to do, if if you have a picture on your desktop, just drag it in and drop it in. It's going to remove all the background. Since so, so my little dog name is Peanut. So now Peanut, you can see, is not sitting on anything. So I'm going to download this image back to my desktop. And if I want him to have a, oh, thank you. I needed some coffee. Thank you, Alice. How did you know? <laughs> so let's say I have a little um, chair I want a peanut to sit in, right? Maybe mm, let's put her on a more comfortable chair. Okay, maybe this one. So just to let you know, Annie just brought her uh, peanut to her office. <laughs> Yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, put her in my office. Oops, where did the image go? I'm gonna do one more time. Copy. Go back to my page. And hopefully you guys are also building it now. So I left you guys a blank screen or blank slide. So you guys can start building your Bitmoji classroom. All right. And all I have to do is the one on my desktop, I just drag it over here and put peanut in my picture. Do you guys see that? <laughs> She's huge. So I'm gonna just drag it down and make it really small. And now peanuts in my virtual office. I can move things around. Do you see that? Okay, so hopefully you guys are, be, are able to build something. Is there any questions that you would like me to answer at this time? If you wanna come off mute. Um, no. Thank you. No. Thank you. Um, one thing, um, Annie, if you can sh uh, show uh, the teachers. Uh -huh. Let's say, let's say that uh, your peanut was behind the, uh, the Christian. Um, yeah. How would you put him or her? I was hoping you would ask me that. So okay. I'm looking at the, the floor and I'm not liking the way it looks, right? So I was thinking about maybe adding a, car a piece of carpet. Okay, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. Thank you so much for asking. So if I put this right here, see how everything's on top of each other and that's not what I wanted. So in order for you to layer it, you're going to click on the item that you want to be on top. So you're going to click on the item. You're going to go to order. You're going to bring that forward to the front. So now see how it looks more realistic because the, the furniture is on top of the carpet. Same thing with the cushion. I'm going to click the cushion. I'm going to bring it forward, order, bring forward. 
and oh no, Peanut's hiding behind the cushion. So I just have to click on Peanut's picture and bring it to forward. And now it's, it's layered. So when you're doing present mode, it looks like this. Sorry, I annotated on yours. Um, there's all there's also on the top where I annotated on her screen. <laughs> arrange. There's arrange on the top, and mm -hmm. there's also when you click arrange, there's an order. What she just showed you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I might want to do a video, right? Because I know um, I always do positive. Um, affirmations in the morning with my students. So I would maybe choose a poster about anything is possible if you try. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to bring it back to my slide deck and paste it here. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And once again, I'm going to put a frame. So click the pencil border and maybe I'll do a blue and then make it kind of thicker. So here we go. And let's say I want to insert a video to have the kids watch it. So I can click on insert. Down here it says video. So I might do a, a positive affirmation for all kids. Oops, I misspell affirmation. There we go click on the search. And so maybe I will do this one. This one's seven minutes, right? The other one's four. Oh, maybe this one is good. Four minutes. Click on it. Select. A little image will come out for the kids to play when I'm ready for the students to see it in the morning. So I can maybe put it here and maybe or even make it smaller. Depending on how you want to organize your class. Anybody have any questions? I wish we can, maybe I could stop sharing. Some of you guys that are working on your slides can show us what your slides look like. Um, I think uh, many of uh, our teachers have a hard time opening because everyone oh, is trying to open it. at the same time. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I have one, but it's not that I couldn't open it either, but I have one that I use in my classroom that I made if you want me to share it. Sure, that'd oh, be great. Sure. Go ahead, I'm gonna stop share and have you share friend. Sorry. No, no, we, we definitely appreciate it. Any extra tips? Super cute. And how long did it take you to do this? Because I know some people like. I have, like, a, like you do, I have slides where I already virtual, uh, virtual um, rooms and I have virtual furniture. So you can see I like the farmhouse style. Yeah. So it takes me, like this one took me a long time. Yeah, this but time. it's so cute. And then all your resources are right there, huh? Yeah, and the way I get these that move, it's uh, through Giphy. Yes, so, that's what I used to. <laughs> Super cute. That's the, that's the closest I came to my dog. Aww. <laughs> yeah, but it, just, it, it does take, it takes me the whole weekend to plan out all my lessons, like even oh. the brain breaks and stuff like that. So have you noticed that once you have those, that kind of, just like with lesson planning, right? Once we have that kind of template, it's a lot easier to copy and paste and change things around just changing a few things exactly right? so I first lesson plan and mm -hmm. I put all my information my lesson plan and I kind of cut and paste and that kind of designs my um my less my slides for the week perfect so yeah and that's what like I said I start out really small kind of like what I'm doing with you guys right now building and then more and more I was able to do like I want to get to your level <laughs> It took, it, it, I took a lot of uh, YouTube classes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But once you get once you get a hang of it, it's pretty easy. Yeah. You can do it pretty easily. It makes planning easier, way easier. Yeah. Does anybody else want to share their start of their Bitmoji classroom? Or <laughs> there was a question, and yes, and had a question. I don't. I don't. Let me do I had a question? a question, but I think she answered because Veronica. I saw her animation, and she said she used everything on Git. So, and I'll show you what that looks like. Did you want me to share? Yeah, that would help. Thanks. Sorry. Mm -hmm. That was really No, no, cool. no. That's why we're here, right? Okay. So what happens is you go to, let's say you want to have a gift of like, um, what was it? You're awesome. 
in your pudding gift? Mm, I like this one because it's really sparkle. Well, actually, this one, you're awesome. So what you want to do is all you have to do is actually click it, save image as. And I'm going to put it on my desktop. And what I usually do is I actually create folders, just like I would do with assignments. I would start creating folders and I keep adding things that I see that I really like. And then I put it in there. So I'm going to insert same thing image and instead of search the web, I do upload from computer. And I, like I said, I only do that because I want to be able to save it to see how it's sparkly now. So it's really easy. Once you know that pattern, it's more finding the image that you like, right? Just like our shopping, <laughs> find that perfect. Can I, show you a shorter way? Excuse me? Can I show you a shorter way? Sure. Okay, go to giphy.com. Oh, giphy.com. Okay. Do it? Yeah, go ahead and share. I'm gonna stop share. Okay. I added the um, link, giphy.com. So oh, perfect. Pictures, you can just so, click away. Example, this is my check-in for today. So I go to here and I already have it, giphy com and that way you don't have to deal with um your <laughs> perfect see i learned something new today love it so you just type in for example if i want um thursday the word thursday mm -hmm. <clears throat> and i want it in a sticker form so here it is oh um, that's awesome but if i click um here you click on the link mm -hmm. you copied it you go back to your google slide and then you go to insert image and then you go URL mm. and then you just paste and there it is. And then you insert. Got it. Yeah. And then yeah. that way you don't have to be searching the, the desktop. <laughs> the image. Very cool. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to share with every teacher, all teachers. So I know you can't really open up the Google site deck that we share with you, but in there, you will have tons of transparent background for you to start building. And you will have um, tons of school uh, items, furniture, um, tools, uh, posters, all are there for you to just copy and paste onto your classroom. So um, you can definitely start sometime this weekend if you wanted to, if you wanted to make mm -hmm. one. Thank yeah, you. and if you guys do, would definitely send me a picture of it. I would love to see what kind of classrooms you created. I'm going to drop the link one more time in the chat, just in case those of you that haven't had a chance to get these resources. I have a question. Yes. Can you go over um, again? How, how did you add the, um, the little video? This one right here, like the morning affirmation? Yes. OK, so all you have to do is click insert. And do you see how it says video right here? You can click on that and just type in, um, let's say, morning, or let's see, PE for kids. So some these activities show up. You just go to the one you want. Let's see, this one is nine minutes, All right? Red light, green light. I'm gonna click on that, see how it's highlighted, and I'm gonna click select, and there it is. And when you're in presentation mode, let me go to that you'll be able to see it. So I can click on that and it's gonna show up right there. Yeah, no problem. And if you, I know some of you guys, like I said, um, couldn't open up the link, but when you do, you have all of these um, resources that we put in and there's even more on the back. Um, we also have our emails here if you if you um, don't have this, if you wanted to do a quick screenshot or take a picture of our email, just email one of us and we'll give you the, we'll make sure to send you a copy of the link. We gave you some, oh, let me go back to that. Hi, Annie, I have another question. I noticed yeah. that your mouse changes from a hand to a watermelon. <laughs> yes. I, I know it's not a that's not part of it, but that looks really cool. <laughs> so it's know. this one. Know, or maybe she's yeah, no it. worries. Let me open up a new. Um, Sorry. <laughs> no, it's this one. It's custom cursor. And oh, okay. if you have Chrome extension, you just add that to your Chrome extension. 
Thank you. Yeah, you're very, very welcome. We have some like, uh, I think, it, who was it that was speaking earlier? I think it was she. Um, she said Hello? that she, huh? Yeah, um, these are some sample classrooms that you can actually pick these out and then paste it into your. So this is our uh, Miss Mandy. She's our computer tech at Buchanan. So she actually has a, the choice board here. And then if you click on it, it goes, it goes into all those websites that the kids use at Buchanan. Um, I have one here for parents. When they click on certain things, um, it might take them to the chief. If they click on here, parent um, portal, right? So just embedding little links for the kids to kind of have fun with. And then we have um, Ms. Cho's. She actually did a, a whole library for Women's History Month and even Merry Christmas ones with activities. So these are, um, so since I make it for the community of schools, we um, have it at our community of schools website. Um, I try to make um, monthly libraries for our students to just click over and read a book with parents or parents can read a book with students. Um, if you can go to the next slide for us. Sure. Yeah. So this is a um, interactive uh, math resources room. So when you click each uh, game, you will it will direct you to a website where you can learn how to play the game and um, play the game. And um, on the every little item actually has a link. The light bulbs has a link, and I also added how like how the light bulb was built and. <laughs> different items and every little item will have a clickable um, link where students can learn anything, everything that they want. So, yes. Mm -hmm. So all of these you guys will have a copies of and you can use some of these in your own classroom. Um, we gave you a whole link of resources and this one I added extra. So to remove background link, if you click on that, it'll take you to the remove a BG site. So I know someone was asking me, if you have a real picture, how do you do that? So I'm going to show you guys one more time. I'm going to make this a little minimized. So let's say I will open up my upload, uh, remove BG. Close this one because uh, I'm already done with that picture. So uh, sorry, I'm going to just drop in a bunch of my dog's peanuts picture. So yesterday I took some pictures of her. She's adorable, by the way. Thank you. Uh, she's 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 cute. Oh. What do they say? There, she's cute, but a handful. <laughs> so so do you see how I just did that? It was actually this picture right here, right? All I have to do is just have it on my desktop and drop it in here, and it's gonna remove the background for me. And I have to just go ahead and download that back to my desktop. and then go to my Bitmoji page where it was. And then let me put her on a, let me put it back on my, Peanut's gonna have a twin today. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop it in. And so she, now she's really big. So I'm gonna make her tiny and she's gonna have a twin today. Okay. Any other questions? And she's someone asked, so Lorena asked, same as adding a link. What was that question for? Oh, embedding libraries, yes. So same thing you would, um, if you wanna look for certain books, you can, if they have a YouTube link to it, you can go and do that. So let's see. There's a story. I think Alice had some down here. She would find how to how Grinch stole Christmas and just type it in. Same thing. Go to um, go to video, click on that, and type it in here. How Grinch stole Christmas. And so you embed it that way. Or if you have a link, you put it here. You go to your YouTube one. There's different ways to do it. So how Grinch, oh, oh, there it is. If you wanna embed it as a link, you go to um, this one, let's say, 
all you have to do is click on share, copy this link, go back to your page, go to your item. Let's say I wanted to do it for this item. Oops. Command or control K, paste it in. So there's two different ways of adding your link. See? <laughs> any other questions? Go ahead and come off mute if you guys need any other support. So I'm going to remove this link. So I know um, Ms. Uh, Lorena Alonso asked about, or you know, using the AAPI Heritage Library Month. Mm -hmm. um, I am actually almost done with that library that I will share. <laughs> um, in our community of schools website so um i don't have everyone's uh email address so if you want to copy just go ahead and email me um just give me like three more days to finish me, the library let me sure. go back yeah let me go back and put our email address on and i'll go ahead and drop it in the in the chat too oh and i have another question since no one's asking um sure. i've seen some visual emoji with like the abc banner is there a oh. way to do it Yes, that because I saw like the one that's kind of came like a, you know, you can do like, a yeah, so I actually, <laughs> I'm glad you asked. So if you go, once you get the link, I know, like I said, some of you guys don't yeah, have it won't open right now. It's full. Yeah, so I gave you guys a whole bunch of backgrounds that you guys can already get started with. And down here, so you have your, you know, books, cases, your teaching materials. Um, lots of sofas and couches and chairs. And down towards the bottom, you know, you have your rugs, right? The rugs that we wish we got to have in our classrooms. <laughs> um, some science things, if you're in STEM, art, and these are your decorations. So these banners are already here. Hello. We're doing, uh -huh. How are you? Good. Welcome. And so these are all your resources, resources down here. So those are already, I guess, somebody already sourced it, which so yes. was yes. really generous to do, but like on our own. And let's just say, how would we, would we just randomly search it and just push it in? Yeah, then, exactly. Okay. And just copy and paste it in. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know some of you guys have different ones, right? Like, and then other people like have these in pieces. So it's just depending on how you're doing it. No, I mean, it's very nice. I'm not, I mean, <laughs> it's already done. Why, why we invent the world? And that's what, that's what I was thinking too. Like, when when um a ma another magna coordinator short share some of these resources and i just started adding my own so i would create a new page and just adding things that i liked and so next time if i ever want it i'll just label it as like virtual um resources or virtual bitmoji resources and i just have all of these done they even have i've been included plants and things like that for you guys miss uh, Ken, would it be possible to uh share that link one more time i came sure. here, right? so it's not added on my chat sure give me one second i'll go ahead and drop it in the chat okay and awesome. we'll be we'll be recording this uh session and we will we will be posting it on our ldc website and maybe we can put it also in the eagle rock and highland park community of schools website too definitely will do um okay. and then i also dropped a link um if you guys are so ambitious that you want to uh, be certified as a, a Bimoji <laughs> educator, and I am, um, it is very fun. It, it's only $29, but you actually get tons of resources after you become a, a Bimoji a certified educator. So go ahead and um, at the end of the day, we actually will tell you step by step. Each course is how, what we went through the last 40 minutes. So you are definitely, uh, yeah, welcome to do that. Just be ambitious like Ms. Cho. Okay, so the time, thank you, Alice, for sharing that, the time, and thank you, Annie, this was absolutely wonderful, we're going to stop sharing, it's 1156, and I see that Ms. Gonzalez has joined us, and she is our administrator, our awesome administrator of, of instruction for local district central, and I know she has some words of gratitude for all our teachers here today. Hi, good afternoon, everybody, and thank you to Annie and Alice for your presentation. I know that it was probably not enough time because we want to make sure we're practicing along um, with everything that they're teaching us. But thank you so much, ladies, for putting all the resources together. We truly appreciate that. And also thank you, teachers. I'm seeing um, teacher friends of mine on the Zoom, and it's so nice to see you. And I'm looking forward to being able to see you in person soon. 
But before we wrap up today, I know Veronica has um, some raffle prizes. I don't want to take too much time out of that fun. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, Mr. Kevin, are you here with us? I don't see it. He, Kevin, are you ready to spin? I don't see him. Uh oh. Okay. Um, I can do that, right? Let me see. Let me add some numbers. Uh, give me like one minute. I can do that for you. Thanks, mm -hmm. Alice. Thank you. So as far as the recordings go, we had five sessions this week. I know some of you were able um, to be with us each day. They're all, they were all recorded and they will all be on our local district central website. And we'll try to send, share them also through our Schoology teacher group. So you could access the information there as well. And um, I do see Kevin yeah. maybe busy on two Zooms, that happens. Yes, he's on the other Zoom, actually spinning the wheel too. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, let me, let me, um, I'm almost done. Uh, I, I need to go up to a, what number do I need? About 50. Julie, 50. really quickly, because um, that, that's what I've been wondering. Is there a, a group, like a Schoology group where all this is in? Or your where is, you, you mentioned where it was going to be. I don't think okay. we create a new Schoology group. We'll go into the um, local district central teacher schoology group we have the continuity of learning one which started in the fall with all the online um, resources and veronica do you want to put it on any other group um i don't know can we put it on the schoology or in the con continuity of learning sure yeah that's a group Yes. That's a group too. And you know what, maybe uh, Lucy, I can send it to you directly. I have everybody's emails and maybe I could send it to all the participants that attend it. I could send it to them. I can get your emails via Zoom. Okay, Thank so you. without further ado, we are ready to raffle. Miss uh, Alice, you wanna start for a $25 gift certificate to Seize Candy? So the one thing that I have to do is uh, from my screen, I'm going to number you guys from that, my screen. Um, because we don't have numbers on each participant. So is that okay with everyone? That's what we've been doing. Yeah. Alrighty. Thank you. Um, so let's see. Alrighty. Ready guys? All right. Let's Fingers crossed. <laughs> Oh, 13. 13. Uh-oh, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Cynthia Chan. Oh, Miss Chan. Yay. I worked with her. Congratulations, Miss Chan. Miss Chan, can you please write, send me your school name in through the direct chat? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, next we have... 50 strategies for virtual classroom and culturally responsive teaching. Oh. The brain book. Yay. 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 Uh oh. Oh my gosh. So I am sorry, we don't have 40. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are leaving, so I don't have 40. We had up to 39. Okay. Okay, so let's, let's go uh, to the closest. What about 37 since we have 37? Okay, 37. Let's see. The last participant is hold on, sorry. Let me look for the participant. Who's last on my screen? Mm -hmm. It is Vero, but you can't, sorry. Nicolette Zimmerman, yay! Nicolette, okay, Oh yay. my goodness! Nicolette! Yay. I never win anything! <laughs> One for you today, Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, all right. And then we have, now we have another, uh, the Distant Learning Playbook by Doug Fisher, both the assessment book and the actual um, activity book. Oh, awesome. That's that's some of the ones that our teachers wanted. So, OK, so we have the teacher friends over. Oh, seven again. We can't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> OK, let's see. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alma Melgar. <laughs> Alma Melgar. Yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah she just started teaching, so she's. Yeah. <laughs> what do you need from her, and I can give it yeah. to you. First, need her. Because I'm still spinning right here. Hold on. So okay, Alma Melgar, make sure you please write your send me your um your school name, and then we have one more, the same set. All right, teachers, lucky day today. We have four prizes. Okay, hold on, hold on, sorry, 15, 15, let me count, let me count. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Maria Guerrero, no, <laughs> Maria Guerrero, yes, Maria Guerrero, is she here? Yes, I'm here. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. I'm hey, excited. Maria, yeah, please tell me your, your, what school you are at. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, <laughs> and Alma it. Melgar, are you still here? She's not, she's teaching, but I'm putting it in the chat for you. She's, oh, she she plus at your school, Lucy? Yes. Okay, oh my place. gosh, your school got so lucky today. <laughs> Who was the other one? I didn't hear the other one. Maria Guerrero. Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> your school too? Huh? Your school too? Ask 